Alright, Dark Productions again. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to optimize your playback so you can edit how you want to edit. Now, some people will go here and they'll set it to lower resolutions. It, it, work, it depends on what works best for you. For me, I've always edited it in 720p. Now, if we need to shoot it down to 480p, you go to NTSC DV 24p 720 by 480 that is if you're having the ultimate lag issues. But if you're a mid-range computer or high, you can edit in HDMI. Leave these all default. Don't change anything. This is good. Gaussian, none, 8-bit. Hit OK. Now, the first thing you're going to want to do is you want to make sure you put this to preview and auto. Then you kind of adjust this to kind of kind of get big enough so you can see. Because this is going to be a lifeline right here. Without this, you don't know what you're doing. Let me go ahead and close that out. The second and third thing is you're going to want to go to Preferences, Preview, oh my bad, Video, and you want to set this to at least four attempts of your RAM. Now I'm running 16 gigs, but for more practical people, they're going to be running about 8 to 6 to 2. So I would say on those configurations, you want to run at least half. So if I was running a 2 gig operating system, I would be running 900. About. Oh, wait, I'm going to try my numpad. 900, that's if it's 2 gigs. If you're running 4 gigs, you want it to set it to 1,200. One Maybe a little bit more, it just depends on. What this does, it makes it so that it's able to load the sequences in your RAM as you play it back. And it makes it so that it stores. So that every, once what the, the first time you play it, it saves in your RAM until you close the program. Apply. Okay. For now, I'll just set it to that. Let me just load up a project. Ah, bloody hell. Okay. I guess this one we'll have to do. Another trick is that when you're editing, most people like to zoom all the way out to see the whole timeline. That does increase it so that it does not lag, but it can have some side effects where you don't see what you're doing. Now it's on preview, so as you play, it'll adjust. Now besides that, the other tweak is to go into the task manager. When you get to the task manager, you right click the start bar, start task manager. You go to, let's see here, where is it? Bloody hell. Sony Vegas. Let me find this real fast. Here we are. Vegas. I'm running Vegas 10. So it, all this is universal. All the settings, they never change between Sony Vegas 9, 8, and 10. They just added features to make it more balanced and supported for other hardware. So you put it up to high. Now what this will do is this will X out everything else you're running. So everything is going to be put into Sony Vegas. Uh, your processor, your RAM, your video card. The video card, your video card isn't actually used in Sony Vegas. It's it's lightly used. It's more used in the CS5, uh, After Effects, and Premiere. So let's see, after you set that that should kill a lot of your lag regardless. I mean, you shouldn't run into a lot of it. Um, let me see. Besides that, the other one is just simply to play around and see if it works. I mean, if you have a lot of issues playing back media, you need to obviously set this down and then kick it up to the higher ones when you render it. I mean, you can make it in any template. But what you have to keep in mind is that when you kick it up to 720p or 1080i, you gotta first play through it and make sure it doesn't cut it off to watch. I'll kick it up to 1080i just to show you what happens. Let me see if I can find a segment where it does it. Oh, never mind. I fixed all of those. But what will happen sometimes is that it'll improperly crop it and it'll have black spaces on the side when you go to render it. So before you go to render it, after, if you're testing in a lower resolution, is that you need to play it back in the final resolution that you're gonna, you're gonna record it in, or export it in, and that'll ensure that it's going to work the way you want it to work. Also, if you want to preview a 
high graphics or high sequence scene in Sony Vegas, you can use a tool called Build Dynamic RAM Preview. And that correlates back to the setting we said earlier, is that based on how much RAM you set to isolate towards Sony Vegas, it will build as much as possible. Now, I can build up to 20 minutes. Most people can only build about 30 seconds to a minute max, depending on their RAM. Alright, so I'm gonna just going to build here. Tools. I mean, I just selected the section by dragging my mouse on the upper hexagon and going to Build Dynamic RAM Preview. Now, because my system has a hardcore processor, the RAM, I mean, the Sony Vegas is heavily dependent on your hardware. If you're not up to par, it will tell you and lag. <laughs> Now that was a basic build RAM dynamic. Uh, besides that, if you're still having issues, you need to look into your video, audio, and chipset drivers, as I've mentioned in previous tutorials. And if you need help in those, comment, and I will help you. Thank you, and uh, thank you for watching.